Hi there, it's Ben Housel here, and in this quick introductory tutorial, we're going to run through these four buttons here and what they do. So essentially, these are editing buttons, and there are shortcuts that go along with them that allow you to add connected clips to your timeline, to insert edits, and then to add append edits, but also to decide whether you want to edit only video or only audio to your timeline. So the first button here is to connect the selected clip to the primary storyline. Now essentially what this allows you to do is to make a new video layer. So if you're adding or wanting to add a layer above another layer in your video, then this will allow you to do that. So if we grab a selection of a clip here. Um, so I've just dragged across that clip to mark a selection. Then we can come down to the connect clip. And basically what it will do is connect a clip to the storyline. So this clip will now flow above that primary storyline, we can move it to any position that we want, um, as long as we have a clip um, below it that we can connect it to. So the way this works is very similar to Photoshop. So the layer that we've just added is obscuring the layers below. So we have the audio of me speaking here, but then above it, we have the audio and video of this person cycling along the street. So once it's down on the timeline, we can obviously trim it, we can extend it if we need to. If we come up to our browser and select a different clip, then if we add a new connected clip, it's gonna connect it above that other clip. So we can stack multiple layers onto our main storyline. And there's useful things that we can do with that. And um, if we drop down the audio, then what it means here is that we have myself speaking, but then the video of these different tracks above. And once we've done that, we can also do some fun things such as compositing those videos together. So we come up to our inspector on the top, top right here and we'll make sure we've got one of these clips selected. If you don't see the inspector, just go to Window, Show in Workspace and Inspector. Then we can do things like modifying the opacity so that we can blend those two clips together. Or sometimes what will give a better result is using something like the Darken or Lighten where we'll actually blend those two clips together, but with a bit more of a, a stronger color along with it. And then we can also modify the opacity as well to kind of blend these two different clips together. There's a lot to play around with there. You can get some cool effects. I'm gonna switch this back to the default. We're not gonna blend those together yet. And we're gonna highlight this clip and delete it. So the other two options that we have here are the insert and append edit, the two main edit options. And the insert edit allows us to insert and edit wherever our playhead is positioned on the timeline. So if I position my playhead here, halfway along this clip, and we'll find a different clip here to insert. So we'll just grab a bit of this clip. If we click the insert button, it's actually gonna break that previous clip into two different parts. So now we've sliced that clip into two different parts. So that brings up a really important point when we're editing in Final Cut Pro 10, and that is to be mindful of where your playhead is and what some of the different symbols on screen mean when you're scrubbing through your clip. So we don't always want to cut a clip in half when we place another clip onto the timeline. So one thing to look for when you're at an edit point is this little L that's on the, the left hand side. That means we're right at the beginning of that next clip. And that means that when we add an insert edit, it's going to put it right in between those two clips. When we're working with drag and drop editing, we get a little bit of a visual indicator of where that's gonna drop when we drag it down between those two clips um, as we're dragging it down to that spot. But if you wanna use the edit keys there or the shortcuts, then you need to look for those visual cues. So let's remove that clip. So we know we can slice a clip in half. We know that we can add a clip. We can insert a clip precisely between two clips. And then that brings us to the final option, which is the append edit, which allows us to append a clip to the end of the timeline. So if we come down here and we grab a clip and we hit the append button, it's basically gonna drop it right onto the end of the timeline. Now this is really handy for assembling edits. So if you're working through lots of footage and you're wanting to add lots of different elements to the timeline, then you can highlight them in your browser, hit the append edit, and it will just drop them onto the end of the sequence. You're not worrying about them creating new layers or slicing two clips in half. If we come down to the timeline and just hold down shift and tap Z, so we zoom to the timeline, you can see it's appended both those clips right to the end of the sequence. So if we're up in the viewer and we're using the up and down arrows, which we can use to move through um, any clips in our viewer, you can see I'm using my upward cursor and it's moving through all those clips. We can then use something like the J, K, and L keys to mark our clips. We can move through our clips using the cursors 
And then once we've found a clip that we want to use, we can use JKNL to find where we want to place our endpoint. So we've pressed I to mark an endpoint and then play through, press O to mark an out point, and then E will append that to the edit. So we can quickly go through multiple clips and add them to our storyline quite quickly. So here, a nice close up and we can press E and you can see it's just dropping right onto the end of the main storyline there without us having to lift our hands off the keyboard. So it's really useful when you're quickly wanting to assemble things. The last option that we have here, I'm just gonna delete a few of these clips and just hold down shift and tap Z to zoom to the whole timeline, will allow us to edit video or audio only down to the timeline. So I'm gonna come to this clip and you can see here that I'm talking and we're gonna find a spot where I'm talking about horses. We'll place the playhead there. And now if we bring this down to the timeline using the connected clip, it's gonna bring down the sound as well, which we don't always want. So I'm gonna take a step back and I'm just gonna change this option here to video only. So now when I bring my video only down to the timeline, you can see there's no audio there at all. So if you're editing cutaways to things that might be being talked about in your edit, then you can use the edit video only down to the timeline option, which is shift one, two, and three. So shift one to edit both, shift two to edit just video, and shift three to edit just audio down to the timeline. You can toggle between those quite easily. So that's a quick overview of these um, edit tools and how they work. Um, and if you have any questions about editing in Final Cut Pro 10, then please don't hesitate to leave a message below and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.